And Wednesday night, seven games on tap, and you bet there's a ton of goals. Let's get right to it. This is your Daily KHL update. We begin our journey in Omsk, where Avangard face Admiral. And boy, did they ever put some numbers on the scoreboard. Played in the opening frame, Avangard get their first of the night. Denise Kulash takes a shot from the point, and Denise Parsons scores on a rebound. 1-0 Avangard. That was just 40 seconds left in the period. Alexander Kuznetsov evens it up. Dominic Fork stopped the original shot, but it goes in off Yunus Analev. 1-1 after 20 minutes of play. Second period now, and it's Kuznetsov again. This time he scores short-handed. Fork didn't cover up in time, and Kuznetsov scores his second of the night and fifth of the season. 2-1 Admiral. Six minutes later, Avangar scoring a power play again. Sergey Shirokov gets it to go on a wraparound. Solid finish to bring it all back to even again. We tied it two. Less than two minutes later, they score in a wraparound again. Sergey Shirokov battles for the puck at the boards, and the new Spartan stuffs it in for his second of the night and third of the season. 3 2 Avangard. A little later, Konstantin Makarov finds Oscar Bartulis in the far post, and Admiral's captain nets it. He scores his fourth of the year, and we're going to be tied again after this period. It's 3 3 now. Third period, Vladimir Sabat gets the puck in the high slot from Alexander Perujagin and beats him on the limit of his ninth. Vladimir Sabat can make it 4 3 Avangard. Shortly after, Avangard scores yet another power play goal. Sergey Shirokov snipes it top shell, short side for the second of the night and ninth of the season as well to increase Avangard's lead to 5 3. Game over? Not at all. Mitru Sajstov skates behind the net, he's stopped on a wraparound attempt, but Stanislav Ashevsky scores on a rebound, and it's a one-goal hockey game, 5-4. And just a few seconds later, Artem Pachindalov makes a great backhand pass to Konstantin Makarov, and he ties it up. This one is tied again, and we'll have to settle it in shootout. Artur Laos and Vladimir Sabat to score for Avangard, and home team takes the extra point. I'm just happy we didn't lose track of score there. 6-5 Avangard, shootout, final. Let's head over to Astana, Kazakhstan, where Boris face Amor tonight. Early in the first, Amor opened up the scoring. Alek Lee takes a quick shot from the right wing, and it goes in. Alek Lee scores his second of the season, and it's 1-0 Amor. Shortly after that, Boris in a power play. Brandon Pachetsky has the puck in the office, feeds Nigel Doss in front, and he evens it up. Nigel Doss scores his 11th of the year, and it's 1-1. Late in the period, the Ushenins get the job done. Vladislav makes it pass, Vachislav scores a goal. That's his first of the year, and it's 2-1 or more after 20 minutes of play. Moving on to the second period, Vitaly Atyashov can't keep the puck in the offensive end, Boris springs up for an off-man rush, and Konstantin Pushkarov brings it all back to even again, as he nets his third of the season. Tie game, 2-2. But Amor still go on to win this one. Artem Zub lets a rip from the point halfway through the final frame and he finds the back of the net. Zub nets his second of the year and Amor take three points on the road and another two game losing streak. 3-2 Amor is your final. We're in Helsinki, Finland now where Jokri take on Matlug Magnitogors. No spurn in the first so pick it up from the second. Jokri on a power play. Tough Bianca gets the puck in the high slot. Fires it on net and scores. What a sizzler. But nothing Jokirin. Two minutes later, Jokirin scores on another long shot. Jesper Jensen sends it in from the right wing. That beats Vasily Koshkin short side and it's 2 nothing Jokirin. 35 seconds later, Jokirin strike again. Brennan Kozen makes a cross ice pass to top the Yakula and he beats Koshkin short side again. That's his second of the night and third of the season. 3 nothing Jokirin. Mike Keenan, or Captain Hook as you may know him, swaps Vasily Koshkin for Ilya Samsonov after that goal. Surprising? Hardly. Much like the fact that Samsonov faced just one shot and was swept back for Koshkin a minute and 13 seconds later. Mike Keenan is just being Mike Keenan. Third period, scramble in front of Jokirin's net and Vladislav Kaletnik finds a way to put it in the net. Kaletnik scores his fifth of the season and it's 3-1 now. Three minutes later, Magnit to get within one. Jan Kovrov is pinned to the boards, but he moves the puck to Denis Zaripov in front to Sergei Mazakin and he scores his 13th. Jan Kovrov takes a hit to make a play and Magnit control by just one now. But a few minutes later, Jokir restores the two goal margin. Tommy Huchtila finishes an in passing play and beats Koshkin top shelf, stick side. 4-2 and that's the way it's gonna end. 
Yokuri wins just their second game out of the last five, but it's over a very good team. We're in Moscow now. Ilya Kovalchuk plays against his junior team as SKA St. Petersburg visits Spartak Moscow. First period, SKA are on a power play, but Evgeny Botros springs up for a breakaway short and that. Is he gonna score? No, he's chopped down and there's going to be a penalty shot. Can he score now? He has cost to beat him 5 hole, but he misses the net. Unlucky. Moving on to the second period, SKA with another power play and this time they convert. Alexander Borobanov scores his third of the year on a wraparound. 1-0 SKA. Late in the period, Sparta giving it up. Konstantin Glazichev makes a great pass to Che Getaway and he sends it in for his fifth. Nice quick passing play by the red and white, 1-1 up to 40. Third period, SKO on yet another power play. Joachim Lindstrom to Dmitry Kalinin, back to Lindstrom, back to Kalinin, and he wires it home. Dmitry Kalinin with a laser beam of a shot from the point, and it's 2 1 SKA. And exactly seven minutes later, they put it to bed. Yarna Kaskirana tips the puck in on Roman Rukavishnikov's shot, and that's game. SKA won a tough one. 3 1 is your final. We're in Yaroslavl now, where Lokomotiv face Tractor. Alexei Morugin is not in the net for Loko tonight, but Vitaly Kalesnik fits in his shoes just fine, stopping all 18 shots he had to face tonight. Although Pavel Kolodov almost pulled his knife by scoring in his own net early in the first. Gotta be careful out there. Lokomotiv scored two late goals in the second frame. First, Danila Falkov that's his fifth of the year, as Igor Avera and Mikhail Grigorov pick up the assist. And a few moments later, Patrick Contiola doubles Loco's lead. Averon gets his second assist of the night on this play, and locally 2-0 after 40. Early in the third, home team puts it out of reach as youngster Yegor Korshkov nets his second of the year as well. This kid is eligible for the World Juniors this winter. Lokomotiv gets the third consecutive shutout win. 3-0, Loco is your final. Riga Latvia and tonight Dynamo face Salavat Yulai. Just over two minutes into the first, Dynamo get on the board. Kaspar Saulatis breaks into the zone, puts on a few nice moves and scores a beauty. Awesome rush by Saulatis and it's 1-0 Riga. A little later, Salavat scores on a power play. Simon Lopisto takes a shot from the point and Andres Enkvis pots it on a rebound. Simple and effective play, 1-1. A few minutes after that, Dynamo get a power play goal of their own. Steven Sago blasts it home from the point and gets his first career KHL goal. 2-1 Riga. Moving on to the second period, Mikhailas Redlitz has the puck. Storms through the neutral zone, he's got room for a shot and he has his seventh of the season. 3-1 Dynamo Riga now. And that's when Salavak turned the tables. Igor Grigorenko brings his team within one before the second intermission. Grigorenko does his eighth and 3-2 after 40 minutes of play. Early in the last frame, Timo Hordekainen throws it in the slot from the right wing. Dmitry Makarov tips it and that's a goal. Salavat set up a three. Later, Dynamo with a chance to get their lead back. Sorry, we close. Cesar is a must have. With just a few minutes left in regulation, Salva scored two goals in less than a minute for the win. First, Andres Enquist finishes a nice passing play and scores his second of the night to make it 4-3 Salva. And just a few moments after that, Samuel Lapista scores his fourth of the year on a power play to seal the deal. Salva scored three unanswered goals in the third and take three points on the road. 5-3 Salva to life final. And just one more score to tell you about. Andre Kostitsin picked up an assist and scored the shootout winner. Sochi beat Nefti Kimik 2 1 on home ice. That's a wrap for tonight. We'll be back this Thursday with four more games, so make sure to tune in. My name is Andreas Sachinka. See you guys soon.